Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do a new problem as part of the Go Math 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. We're going to do a number 14 on the CBEST Mathematics Practice Test. This is a nice number sense and operations word problem that involves estimating. A good one because it, all, the, all our number sense and operation word problems have a real life scenario that we have to read over, visualize, and pull out the math in order to solve this uh, word problem. So let's read it over together and we'll talk about the key math concepts and solve. Number 14. The lowest point on earth is at the bottom of the Mariana Trench at a depth of 35,840 feet below sea level. The highest point on earth is the summit of Mount Everest at a height of 29,028 feet above sea level. Which of the following is the best estimate of the distance between the lowest and the highest points on Earth. And then our, our, our answer choices here are options for the distance between the low and the high. Notice how there are some answer choices that are on the relatively uh, low end, and then a couple that are really on the high end. I have a feeling the distance between these two points is greater than a couple thousand. But there's ways and there's, there's a reason why these are placed here. And also I want you to, and we'll talk about the reason why these two are placed here. Also look at these answer choices here. Look how close they are. When you see numbers that are so close, that means when we get to the estimating, we're going to have to be very particular with how we estimate these numbers. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But now let's, uh, let's first uh, take this number sense uh, word problem and let's visualize it. We're talking about two places on Earth. The Mariana Trench, which is below sea level, and, and, and Mount Everest, which is above. So when we think about sea level, that's like the water level, right? And that is at an altitude of zero feet. Now Mount Everest is above sea level. And way up high, the tippy top of Mount Everest, if we're thinking about the top highest point, is 29,000 feet, uh, 29,000 and 28 feet above sea level. So the distance between these two is 29,028 feet. Now the Mariana Trench, this is below sea level, way deep in the ocean. So here we'll imagine it's way down here, really low, and this point here, so low, it's at, let's say that's negative 35,000 840 feet below sea level. So if, another way to think, we, I said negative because it's, I'm thinking about it, uh, I'm imagining that sea level is you know, our, our zero and we're going downwards. But if we were just looking at raw distance between the bottom of the ocean and the top of the ocean, we'd be looking at a total distance of 35,840 feet. When it's talking about the, the distance between the two, well, that would be whatever the distance is here, plus whatever the distance is here. And if we added these two up, we get an idea of the total distance between the high point and the low point. So let's, let's do that now. Notice if you, if you weren't thinking of this as a negative, you might have just subtracted 35,840 and subtracted the 29,000, you might have got an answer that's close to A and B. So that's how those are there. Those aren't going to be the answers, though. When we're thinking about the difference between these two, we're going to be adding these two values together. Now, our 35,840, we have to do some estimating before we add. And what I'm going to suggest is with numbers like 35,840, when you have answer choices here that are so close together, Rather than doing front-end estimation, what I'm going to recommend is, since they're both in the tens of thousands places, round to the closest thousand. That will get you a closer approximation. So if I'm going to round to the nearest thousand, this 8, does it get rounded up or down? The 8 gets rounded up to a 6, and this value here becomes 
36,000. So from the bottom of the Mariana Trench to sea level is approximately 36,000. And this 29,000, if I'm rounding to the nearest thousand, this zero rounds everything down and this becomes just 29,000. And now since I'm, I'm looking at the distance between this point here and this point here in terms of our highs and lows and not just that the distance would be like adding up this and adding up this, and I'm going to add these two values up. And as I do it, I got to be very careful. Six plus nine is what? Six plus nine is five. Carry the one. Sixty-five thousand. Okay, it's a nice problem. Problem's getting a little bit more complicated because we got to be careful with uh with our visualizing and making sure that we don't make any careless mistake mistakes and just turn it into a subtraction problem. Uh, you have to uh, make sure that when you do the rounding that you don't just round these values up to 40,000 or round this up to 30,000 because you could get an answer that's really far off. Um, and you also um, you want to make sure that when you're doing all these rounding and this adding um, calculations that you make sure you take your time because let's say I rush this and let's say I made this a four. Well, guess what? There's a 64,000 feet here. Or maybe I, I, I thought this was a six and rushed it. It's a 66,000 here. So it's very easy on a problem like this to be off by a thousand and get the wrong answer. And I don't want that to happen to you. So take your time on all these calculations. Okay? All right, team. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.